Hey, hi, this is Susan and today we are going to talk to some women who may not be uh, OTT celebrities but are uh, popular in their own circle for starting to invest early. So let's talk to them. Okay, so Nena, what advice would you give the young woman to start her financial journey uh, on this Women's Day? So what I did was I set a goal. Goal was to buy an engagement ring for my partner. I started little and I started early with as little as 10,000 a month. I chose two, three mutual funds and got a Mediclaim. Also added a little amount in the PPF for diversification. And finally, after five years, I did manage to buy a ring for him. I would say investing early made it happen. Okay, so now we are going to ask Nena uh, how... Um, women should approach investment uh, differently from men. As much as I am for equality, when it comes to savings, women and men have different approaches. We women have many hiding places. We saw that it helped in the times of need during the lockdown. I've seen it with my mother that we women intend to save first and spend later. Now is the time where women should not only save their money for the times of need, but they should save to invest. Okay, so now we have uh, with us Ruchi and she is going to share how she started investing. My investment journey started um, when I was 18 and um, I had got my first salary which was with after a two month internship and it was a total of 4,000 rupees. So out of that, um, 2,000 rupees I gave to my nani because I felt like uh, money was always safe with her and it always seemed to grow. And what she did was the next day took me to the bank and made me put that money in PPF, which they had started for me when I was born. So that's when I realized that uh, you know money doesn't really grow with nani just like that. She invests it as well. And uh, when I got my first job and some real salary started coming in, um, my journey with SIP started because I started keeping aside some money to invest in. Then uh, popular mutual funds like uh, HDFC Top 200 was, I remember I had started with, and DSP Tiger. That went on for some time and, uh, you know, the journey didn't stop. Of course, the funds changed and it's been now 15 years that I've been investing. And what it has really given me is freedom, freedom to buy whatever I want, freedom to go on a holiday when I want without having to ask anybody for money or anything of that sort. Okay, and now we have Mitali with us and she is going to tell how she approached to investing and her financial journey. Hi, I am Mitali. I am a mother of 12 years old daughter. I have seen my mother in my childhood. She kept a little money here and there. Sometimes in the corner of the house, sometimes in the suitcase, sometimes in the kitchen container. I asked her once again, कि ये तो पैसा अलग अलग जगह क्यों रख रही है उसने हंस के बोला कि तुझे कभी पैसों की ज़रूरत लगेगी तो मेरे पास तो होनी चाहिए तुझे देने के लिए फिर जब भी मुझे स्कूल में पैसों की ज़रूरत लगती थी कभी स्कूल फीस भरनी है कभी पिकनिक के लिए जाना है कभी फ्रेंड्स के साथ बाहर जाना है तो वो वही पैसे निकाल के मुझे दे देती थी वो पैसे देने में देते टाइम उसके चेहरे पर एक अलग खुशी रहती थी तभी मुझे रियलाइज़ हुआ कि मुझे भी मेरे बच्चों के लिए ऐसे ही पैसे थोड़े थोड़े सेव कर कर रहे हैं अलग अलग जगह रखना है मैंने वही तरीका आजमाया मैंने अलग अलग फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट में पैसा रखना शुरू कर दिया जैसे कि इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड पीपीएफ फिक्स इनकम और बैंक सेविंग अकाउंट बैंक सेविंग अकाउंट में पैसा मैंने तो मेरे रोज के खर्चे के लिए डालना चालू किया वो तो एज ए इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं था बट फिर जैसी मेरी डॉटर बड़ी हो गई थी मैंने उसका उसके नाम से भी पी अकाउंट चालू कर दिया और उस और उसके भी इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड के एस मैंने चालू कर दिए तो जो काम मेरे माँ ने किया था मेरे लिए थोड़ा थोड़ा पैसा रखने का वही काम मैंने मेरे मैंने मेरे डॉटर के लिए किया और मेरी डॉटर भी वही काम आगे करने वाली है ये मुझे यकीन है